All right. Welcome in, everyone, to the Talking Kentucky Post Game Show. My name is Coleman Scott. His name is Brad Harvey of College Sportscast, who's joining me. Um, as it's time for a little group therapy tonight, uh, as the Cats get absolutely blown out by Georgia, 51-13. to 13. Uh, Not what we expected, not what we hoped for. Um, but hey, we're all here together to, to talk about it now. And you know, you win as a team, you lose as a team, you win as a fan base, you lose as a fan base. And Brad's got something going there. <laughs> only, the only way to handle a tough loss like this some good old Kentucky bourbon. Well, those barrels well, that's behind you. That's right. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, that's all. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's about, so that's, that's the only way to do it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we got some people down here in the comments who are probably um, also drinking adult beverages. Uh, we got Josh Hart and uh, and, and well, this Todd is my first. I didn't do this before. I actually mentioned it to some friends here, but <laughs> this is actually my first. Just so y'all know, I did that on oh, purpose. Yeah. But me too. The only the only one that the only way to handle a, a loss like that, yeah, is some good old Kentucky bourbon. It, it it is, and, and thankfully, you know, in Kentucky, we have that. You know, we have that luxury. So, <laughs> so you know that, that that that's important. So, yeah, we could we could definitely talk about bourbon. But uh, you know, Brad, I mean, it's like it's like where do we start? You know, kind of kind of thing of, of breaking this down. And 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 I think I'll start with this. You know, I, I had so much hope coming into this game that we would be able to compete on the defensive side of the ball. You know, and, and that was the worst part of the game. You know, I thought I thought the only sort of given of the game would be that Brad White's defense would be able to make this Georgia offense work. And, so and I'm going to – I'm not the case. If you want to start with the defense, I'm going to say yeah. some stuff about the defense tonight that just is going to be rough, okay? Because Brad yeah. White's done an excellent job. He always has. I'm not going to sit here and try to take away no. from, from what he's done, okay? I'm not. No. However, yep. tonight, when you go into an environment like Athens, Georgia, against the top team in college football for the last two plus almost three years, okay, yep. you have to be aggressive. And yep. for the first time, so at the very beginning of the game, our, our cornerbacks are playing 10 yards off the receivers. The first drive, they hit 10 yards here, 10 yards this side, 10 yards here, 10 yards there. Dink and Dunker. And, yeah. And, and, it's, and, and it's all because we're not aggressive and we're not on them and we're not competing. If you're going to – you know, if you're going to make some noise against the number one team in the country, you can't set back. That's, I mean, I yeah. don't, I don't even understand it. And then on top of that, the next thing that I want to talk about on defense is half the night while they were running up the score on us, we're only rushing three and four man fronts mm -hmm. on their defense. Now, later in the game, I did see him pick up and I did see him, you know, do a few blitz here and there, but that's not Brad White's, like, the, I, that's not how he operates. I mean, what and, was the, the final score? And was I just don't understand how you can go to Athens, Georgia on the defense and think that you can compete with – the Georgia Bulldogs, <laughs> yep, and not be aggressive. I mean, I, I, I just I don't, don't understand it. it. I, I I don't get it. And you know, fifty-one points. It's like th this game reminded me of the Tennessee game last year. Honestly, you know that that's. Oh like yeah, I'm going to get point. into it because it's what happens every single time that Kentucky has a chance to yep. show the world that they are a serious football team. Yep. This is what happens. Nope. It 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 certainly feels like it. That's that's for sure. Um, 
you know, at the start of the game, we we really, you know, the problem through the first four games or so was that we we beat ourselves, right, with with penalties and, and everything else. And uh, it, it seemed like that was the case, right? As we uh, as we get to shoot ourselves in the foot with penalties, just stupid, you know, bonehead penalties. Of uh, you had the Jagger Burton unnecessary hold, first of all, and then you had the Jagger Burton uh, unnecessary roughness penalty, right? And then, and then I would have had the Jagger Burton take your jersey off and go to the damn locker room. Yeah, is what I uh, yeah, that, that's that's what I would have had too. Um, I, and I'm not playing at all. No, I, I, I'm listen. No. That penalty, that second penalty after the play, when the Georgia player was face down in the grass. Yep. And he literally, oh, standing over top of him after the play, hit him and drove him into the ground in his back. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, guys, you can make a thousand excuses if you want to, but there is no damn excuse for that mm-hmm. under no circumstance. You cannot, cannot have those kind of mental errors nope. in a game of this caliber. And I want to be honest with you. You can't have you can't do that if you were playing Pee Wee League, okay? Like Mm-mm. the dude was literally on the ground face down. Yep. You can't do that and, in any scenario. And then you had the Dion Walker I mean, come one. Come on, too, right? Jagger Burton. The I'm Deon, serious. The Dion Walker one was even worse, in my opinion, because you so had, the Dion, the Dion Walker one, the one yeah. you're talking about there. Uh-huh. Okay. I I could not tell. Dion Walker made a heck of a play. He he batted down a pass. Okay. And it, it they never really showed any good replays of it. Yeah, the ball went down. It looked like that it might have bounced off the back of a Georgia player and up yep. into the air. Yeah, I think Dion may have and, gotten a hand on it after that. Or and something. and what happened was is Kentucky picks up the ball and tries to run after the play, thinking it's still a live ball, and then Dion Walker goes and lays somebody out that's not even paying attention, thinking the play's over. And I'm sorry, again, I mean, the players were out there. They could tell if that ball hit the ground or not. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I couldn't tell because I wasn't out there and they didn't have a good angle and I couldn't see it. But if he batted the damn ball down and hit the ground, the play's over, fools. I mean, seriously. You know what? Dion knew the play was over. He just like that was just a cheap shot. That that's all that was. It was just undisciplined, just unfocused. Just that was that was stupid, man. Um, it, it, it's just I'm shocked at at how undisciplined you, you know they came out because you feel like that Mark Stoops' brand of football is to not shoot yourself in the foot, right? But this team has continued to do that this year. Uh, and, and they paid for it tonight with a loss, but, um, the, man, it, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Um, but I, I think you have to say though, Brad, if, if you didn't have those penalties, uh, we, we would have been in the game in the first quarter. Well, I mean, we had a chance at the very beginning of the game. Okay. So our first two drives were, uh, negated because of penalties. We were driving the ball and mm-hmm. our first two d- you know, our first two drives were um, pushed back basically because of penalties. And we wind up being in second and long and third and long when we shouldn't have been, you know, either time. And both of those was because of Jagger Burton, by the way, Yep, yep. which I'm getting really, really damn tired of saying, and I'm not even playing. Um, Yeah. Like this is the, this is the second game out of three games that I think I'm saying that same damn thing. And I'm telling you right now, that play in the back, what he did, no. I'm sorry. You can sit on the bench with me. Seriously. 
I, um, absolutely. I'm surprised. Even the announcers talked about how. Yes. Like how, absolutely. How did he? Not and come then off for and Lisa then play. So the the uh, Georgia's second drive, I believe it was their second drive. We stopped them. Third down, we stop them. And that's when the damn Dion Walker play happened. And but, we give them and we give them a first down and then they drive the ball and you know score again. That might have been the third their third drive. But hey, you can't blame Liam Cohen. I think Liam actually called a really good game. It's just that the players screwed it up by shooting ourselves in the foot. Devin Leary overthrew passes. We dropped passes. Stupid. I don't penalties. know what I'm. I'm at a point right now with Leary. I don't know where and what else to do. Like he's but the, just but, not being accurate. But do you agree with that? That do, do you think Liam actually called a good game? I, I think I think he had intentions of calling a good game. I think we come out the first quarter and a half, two quarters, and he called a good game. I mean, after yeah. that, it's different because we're down 30 points. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, I mean, we're down 34 to 7 at halftime, and you can't really call the same game plan, you know, that <laughs> that you had intentions of calling. You know, but, you, can, you can't really do right. that. But my only complaint about his play calling was probably like I don't know why we didn't try to establish the run more with with Davis in the first half. Can you uh, explain to me why in the crap that we went for a two point conversion on that last touchdown? <laughs> that, we got? that was a pretty bad two point conversion. <laughs> like that, first that, of that, all, I want to know we play. we were down thirty four to thirteen after the yeah. touchdown. Uh-huh. Okay. So, if we kick the two point, it's 34 14. It's a 20 mm-hmm. point game. Okay. Yeah. A 20 point game is a three score game, is it not? Yep. You got to have three scores. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. If we get the two point conversion, it's a 19 point game. Well, even Nick Rouse. I'm Rouse pretty sure tweeted. you still got to have three scores. Yep, you do. Uh, <laughs> I don't. And I don't get it. Nick uh, Nick Roush of KSR tweeted. I thought this was funny. Uh, he tweeted: Mark Stoops chooses to go for two to try to make it a nineteen point game. Somebody please explain this to me, like I'm four years old. I, I don't get it, guys. Like seriously. Yeah, and then either. the play call was atrocious. Yeah, it was. You're going. You're yeah. going to run straight up the gut. Against Georgia. Yep. Give me a break, guys. Give me a break. That is absolutely ridiculous. We snap the ball to the to the running back, and he goes straight behind the center. Yep. Against Georgia on a two point conversion. I, I mean, I've never seen anything like that. No, uh, I'm pretty sure two point conversions are probably 90 95% of the time a pass play. It it didn't feel like Stoops even had an answer for tonight either. Like, it, even when he was being interviewed on the sideline, he was just kind of like, Yeah, well, they're beating us. Like, I mean, Listen, he guys, <laughs> I know it's Georgia, I know who they are. I, I did not. There's some friends that's going to be on with us, and there's some people that's going to say that they expected a win. I did not expect a win. Matter of fact, no, I thought it was unlikely. Before before the, the, the game today, Coleman messaged me and asked me what I thought. And Coleman can tell you I told him that I didn't think that we could win. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I, I did not expect a win tonight. I really didn't. It's Georgia in Athens, and I, I really did not expect a win. What mm-hmm. I did expect is for Kentucky to look like a competitive team that could challenge a team like a Georgia. Now, does that mean we get beat two touchdowns? You know, and we get beat thirty-four to you know twenty. Well, Clyde, 
Claude brings up a great point here. South Carolina and Auburn competed against Georgia, but we can't. Amen. Amen. hundred percent. Missouri yep. last year almost beat them. South yep. Carolina only in Georgia, by the way, exactly where we just played. And I know they that was a beat, noon game. They got beat 24 to 14 like three weeks, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Okay. By this same exact team. Yeah. Auburn last week, who is got atrocious quarterbacks and has almost zero offense and a first year head coach. Now, I I will grant you it was at Jordan Hare, okay? It wasn't in Athens. Still, I mean, they were up 10 But nothing. still, they had to score a touchdown, and Auburn scored 20 points on them, and they had to score a touchdown at the end to win the game by yep. a touchdown. And we get beat by 40. Yep. We look like Ball State. That's what we look <laughs> like. We, we did. We did. They beat us almost as bad as they beat Ball State. We look like they made us. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not even going to say that. We made Georgia look like they were playing Ball State. That's yes. what we did. Yep. No, I agree. And, uh, hey, we want to hear from you all. So, uh, I mean, the, you know, part of the reason we're doing the show, you know, uh, hence the caption above it is group therapy, you know. So, so give us a shout, 502-234-1504, you know, uh, vent, the, vent about the game. You know, keep it clean. Keep it clean. If I know somebody, we're all frustrated. If somebody <laughs> tells me the Lord war and they won, I'm going to go off on them, by the way. If somebody what? Somebody tells me the Louisville score and they won, I'm going to go off on them, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I haven't so, looked in the last little bit. Yeah, I need to I need to look at that score, but uh, I think we got Claude here on the phone here. Claude, how you doing, man? Uh, I um well, you know, y'all know how I you know y'all know, y'all saw me in the group chat. Y'all y'all know. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we know how you are. Yeah, those are rhetorical questions. Have sure. a have a have a drink, man. Yeah, yeah. you know, it, 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 that's my point. I really just said in the chat. Georgia, I mean, not Georgia, South Carolina, Auburn yep. literally competed. I mean, Auburn took Georgia right down to the wire with two minutes left, no, four minutes left in the game. Yep. It took them down to the wire. Auburn had, if Auburn had a passing quarterback, Auburn wins that game. Well, and if Georgia, Maybe. if Georgia doesn't have Brock Bowers, then Auburn wins that game. Because Brock Bowers single handedly won that game. Speaking of Brock so, Bowers, do you yes. think maybe we yeah. should we should defend him tonight? I mean, maybe. Yeah. I, I, how maybe, many? Maybe we times, should put a defender on him. That's the other thing. How many times maybe. was Brock Bowers just wide the f open in the middle of the field, just completely uncovered? How does that happen? I mean, seriously, how does that happen? That that is truly just unbelievable in every sense of the word to me. Because he's the best player in college football, and but he should still. But have you can't leave him wide <laughs> open. Him. You can, nobody can cover this man. He's just uncoverable. <laughs> and, and, I and, mean, there and, were plays uh, where there was nobody within fifteen yards of him. Yeah, there was nobody within like 30, 30 yards. I mean, I could have been in within twenty yards of him at least. I couldn't tackle him, but I mean, I, I could have been in the vicinity. I feel like, but. Uh, but but so it you know it it's it's largely disappointing you know the the thing for me and I, I forgot to say this earlier the thing for me is and we I mean we've kind of hinted at it that right. we didn't really expect a win you know but but we expected for well I know you did but uh, we we Brad and I weren't necessarily expecting a win we we just wanted to go and well, Caden certainly wasn't but we wanted to go in there and just play it close. You know, and, and we wanted to, to to be competitive, right, at the very least, and get out of yeah. there with, with no injuries, or at least no major injuries. And get out right? of there with some respect. Yeah. Yes. Right. We and we and we got blown the hell out. Mm -hmm. And by yep. the way, uh Keish, I think it's Keyshawn Silver, uh Trayvon mm -hmm. Wallace, Barry and Brown, and somebody else are, are all hurt. So, so that's what, not good. What, you know, to be honest, where the fuck was Trayvon Wallace tonight? Seriously, where was he at? I forgot he was even on the field. Wallace, you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, I, 
Dude, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where any of our defense was tonight, honestly. It, it, it's just – especially our secondary. I mean, I thought we had the secondary to compete with Georgia, but but uh, we, we, did, we did not show it tonight. No. This from, a, the from midway game third game quarter game. on, they just you run know, it down their throat. You know. Yeah. I, if we was to lose, I would at least like to lose by like, at least like 10 or maybe 8 points. You know, I would have been like, well, you know, we – you know, I would have – but you know, how many points did we lose by? Uh, it was fifty-one to thirteen. So I'm too tired to do the math on that. But that, that's that's way too many points. That's a ball state. It's amount. damn near forty. Yes, yeah, yeah, like damn near off. forty. There you go. Fifty-one minus thirteen is damn near forty. It's thirty-eight. <laughs> I know it's thirty-eight. How it's thirty-eight. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> why, why can't Stoops ever just compete with? with these bums like i don't get it i don't understand he can never compete against georgia but he yeah. can against other teams georgia. do it yeah i mean he has at times well actually let me take that back i i think that back. there has been times where georgia has came up here and we did compete against them actually we like did last, last year, year. yeah we competed against them last year okay we scored a great touchdown. It was really 16 and nothing. And when Benny Spell was here, when we played here, I think it was Benny's, like, I don't know, maybe Benny's really first year of breaking out. I mean, we only, I think we only lost to Georgia by at least a few points, you know, and that was down to the wire kind of game. So there's been times where we have competed against Georgia, but – you know, you, you if you want to be taken serious, you can't be playing like this and expect for people to take you serious. That's why they look down on us because we can't win the big games when it matters most, and that is Stoops' problem. That's his biggest issue he's had here. Yeah, Quincy, I did yeah. too in my pick. Yeah, yeah, and, we got to, like a dumbass. We we got we got Quincy in the comments here. Uh, saying that I took the cats to cover. Yeah, I, I didn't I, to take the cats to cover. I, I I stayed away from betting this game or, or betting any of these games. Actually, you know, well, on college sports cast, I do pick pick'ems, and when we did the Georgia Kentucky game, and I will own up to it, I took Kentucky in the points. Well, I didn't I didn't say Kentucky was going to win the game, but I thought that we might keep it within two. Hey, points. I thought we. I, yeah, I could have absolutely have seen that, but. Uh, but, I'm gonna bet during basketball season. I'll have a better chance then. Yeah. Well, uh, that that's that's right. Well, hey, Big Blue Madness is next Friday. You know, we, <laughs> we got to look forward my, to. My, my brother, my brother in law said you should have just betted against Kentucky. You would have won some money. Well, <laughs> that you know, that's yeah, uh, he's lying though. That, he is not lying at all. That that's oh, that's I didn't lose no money there. on him. I didn't bet that, money on it. I, I'm talking yeah, about we, my little show that I do. Right. No. I, yeah. It, 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 he said it would have not paid much, though. Well, yeah, when it's Georgia. Yeah, if you would have done it on Kentucky and Kentucky beat Georgia, now if I would, that would have paid. Yeah. He said yeah. if I would have paid on Kentucky to beat Georgia, and, and we did beat, then I would have won a good amount <laughs> of right. money from that. But That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, well. Well, thank, thanks for calling in, man. You know, we'll regroup. We'll come back strong next week. We'll, yeah. we'll be all right. Go Cats. We'll kick, we'll kick Missouri's ass next week. We, 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 we will. That, that's right. Yes, sir. That's right. You better. All right, I'm going to let Josh get on the phone, and I'm going to get out of here. All right, man. Thanks for calling in. All right, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. See you, Clyde. Uh, uh, 502-234-1504. We want to hear from you. Give us a shout. Tell us your thoughts on the game. I just um, like after all the stuff that Stoops has built, and we're picking up recruits after last week went last week's win, and you know we seem to have this momentum, and we just when we get on the biggest stage, yeah. we just can't be respectable. And no, no, we it can't. Kills I, me. I think we got Josh. Josh on the phone here. Josh, go cats, but man. But damn. <laughs> First, I want to see. I'm sorry to call him. I don't know. It's called. I think you're breaking up a little bit, Josh. Here, let let me let me hang or hang up and call back, Josh. I think you're breaking up a little bit. Um, 
yes, yeah, usually you know turning it off and back on, hanging up and calling back. Yeah, but that sometimes fixes, it works. Fixes yeah. all the technical problems in in the world. Um, so uh, so maybe Josh will Josh will call back here. Um, but uh, what were you saying before before he came on, Brad? Well, I mean, <clears throat> just that you know. We we get so close to the point we 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 gain a lot of momentum, you know. We have recruits that are you know that are committing, and I'm talking about some good, like top 150 recruits this week that have committed. And after the Florida game, and then we go and literally shit the bed. Yeah, in prime yeah. time, in prime time on the biggest stage. And we literally shit the bed. And, yeah. you know, I, for once, I want Kentucky to show that they deserve some respect. I think that's all of our biggest frustration, uh, honestly. But I think Josh is calling back. I didn't expect hate. the win, but I wanted right. some respect. Right. Now, it, well, we got take number two here. Uh, Josh, can you hear us? Yeah, I can. There you go. How you doing? We're all right. <laughs> Not really, but, you know, we're okay. Uh, to say I'm disappointed is an understatement. Yeah. I just, I just, oh, I'm, I'm sorry to Caden for not believing in him. Um, just, Leo Caden, an apology. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just, it's just unbelievable that we got hammered by Georgia. Well, I mean, it's not unbelievable <laughs> because it's Georgia, but like, I, I, it's very disappointing. I mean, I, I'll, I will say that. I think it's very disappointing. I just don't understand what Brad White was doing tonight with a defensive scheme. Yeah, it just didn't seem like he was like from the get go. He just left people wide open, and I just didn't get that at all. Yeah. Well, but Brock, how was Brock Bauer so wide open that many times? I mean, it's truly, it's like, man, what's going on? Um, it, it, it's just, it was just a complete all systems failure tonight. And it, it just, Guys, I'm no pretty sure, word. and I haven't looked at it, but did, did we have single sack tonight? I don't think we did. No. And that was one of my, key, you know, my key, three keys to the win. I forget what yours were, Brad. You have to remind me. But it was get off to a fast start. We definitely didn't do that. That was that was, that was mine too. <laughs> the first one. It was we got to catch the balls. The receivers have got to catch, which we we actually did a a, a, a fair job at, you know, um, actually. But uh, and then our third one was got to pressure the quarterback, in, and we didn't do that. So uh, we, yeah. that's why we didn't win. <laughs> I really don't want to trash Devin Larry, but he is trash. That dude, yeah. he cannot throw the ball to the ocean. He is horrible. I'm, we I had have been some wide open receivers in his corner so much, but that dude is straight trash. I I don't understand why he he missed the receiver by seven yards tonight. Wide open, but it, it's weird he because has there's no accuracy whatsoever. There will be some throws, Brad, that he'll just nail the receiver right on the numbers, and then some look absolutely awful. So I think the the consistency is the thing there. I see all these people saying, put in Kyra Sharon and stuff like that. No, you don't want that, <laughs> okay? No. Devin is the best – like it or not, yeah. Devin's the best quarterback on the team. I mean, okay. listen, guys, if we want to be uh, you know, taken for a real team and get somewhere, we have to – Count on Devin Leary. Yes, I mean uh, it's just how it is. Yeah, that, that is how it is. Um, but uh, well, you got anything else, Josh? No, I'm just I'm just really disappointed in the performance tonight. Yeah, I'm really defend just 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 really just they showed Coach Dukes on the sideline. He just had his arm across him like you have no. No urgency whatsoever. It's, it's embarrassing. Um, I just, I just don't understand how they performed tonight. I really don't understand that. Uh, it's just, it's really disappointing how they came out tonight, and we were beat within the first, you know, the first 
three scores. It's just. I, it's just I so knew. I knew after the first drive. I knew in George's very first drive we were losing the game. And I, we didn't have any turnovers tonight, did we? Nope. But we had a lot of penalties <laughs> that made up for it. How but, do you uh, get beat fifty-one to thirteen and not have any turnovers? Yeah, that that's a good point. You know, I I hadn't thought of that 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 we didn't have any turnovers and, and we still got beat that bad. Um. So. Uh, I mean, yeah. I still think we're gonna have a good season. I think it's so just, too. We're gonna talk about so that. So disappointing in how we played tonight, and I really thought we were gonna beat Georgia. I uh, mean, God. I just wanted to beat Georgia so bad. I just wanted to beat them so bad. And, I mean, it just, it's just disappointing in how they approached the game tonight. And Brad White, if he really wanted to be uh, a next-level next level coach, then, I mean, really, what did he prove tonight? Because he, he didn't know it's proved that he didn't even beat Georgia. Yeah. I mean, I know it was a tall task, but still, I mean, just. Ugh, I'm just so disappointed. Yeah, man. In how they play tonight? No, I know. Uh, yeah. Go That's cats, good. but damn. Well, go yeah, go cats, but man or damn, whatever you want to say, whatever <laughs> word you want to follow it with. But uh, we'll we'll wow. thanks for calling in, Josh, and we'll we'll come we'll come back strong next week. We'll regroup. Yeah, we will. I mean, I still love my cats. Still love y'all show, and just uh. Uh, I'm just very disappointed in how we performed tonight. I just, uh, I just hope we come out better next week. And uh, amen. Uh, just you go cats, but man. Yeah, go cats, but man. Well, well, thank, thanks for <laughs> that's calling his. In, Josh. Uh, I was just making fun, right, like saying some my own little thing. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I agree, but uh, yeah. Yeah, give it give us a shout, guys. Uh 502-234-1504. You can rant about the game. Uh yeah, tell us we'll, tell us what you thought. What what where was where did Kentucky go wrong tonight? What what was yeah. something that we you know haven't mentioned that you think, man, this was you know, this was yeah, a like, glaring, you know, you know, tell us what you think. Where where did Kentucky go wrong tonight? That yeah, there's uh there's there's really a, a million different things that you think you know we, we we can't fit it all in in one show so how many things uh right. louisville just beat notre dame uh 33 to 20 was the final so that that adds and that uh, right the there word. and that right there is why i say it is so damn frustrating to be a kentucky fan and to not yeah. gain some respectability you're telling me that Louisville can beat Notre Dame, but we can't even stay within a distance of Georgia. We, we totally could have. We Come all the on, Brad. Man. I mean, I just like I yeah. just don't get that at all. Brad, all the pieces were there. We all the pre pieces were there for us to beat Georgia tonight, or at least to be competitive. And we just got absolutely blown out. It it's our own damn fault, isn't it? It's like Jimmy Buffett. It's, it's our own damn fault. I'm sorry, guys. Mark Stoops, Brad White, y'all shit the bed tonight. Yeah. And I and I mean that absolutely a hundred percent. You cannot on a night like tonight, where Oklahoma goes into Texas and takes them down after after a losing season last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a night where Brian Brom, in his first year, takes out Notre Dame, the 10th-ranked team in the country. Yep. And we go to Georgia and get boat raced. Yeah. Unbelievable. Just disappointing is the word. Disappointing is the word for sure. Um, but, you know, one thing Kentucky has done, in the past few years is they've let one loss turn into two or one loss turn into three. Right. And let's, let's find out, let's find out if that's what happens against Missouri. Well, especially, especially coming off 
the uh, the the Georgia game. So yeah, we play uh, we play Missouri next week. Who lost to LSU today in a game where there was absolutely no defense in that game either. Um, but you come back home, you know, you get both Missouri and Tennessee at home, so that you know, and they even as bad as I feel like the announcers were tonight, and as big as Georgia homers, I feel like they were. You know, we were we were talking about that. I feel like – I mean, I feel like Georgia's deserved when they're two-time champs and they've only lost one game in the last 35, 36 games. Yeah. They deserve to have people talking about them. I mean, I, I don't think you could say anything bad about that. Um, But, uh, you, you know, I, I think that we can win every game. For the rest of the, like, I think every game left on our schedule is very is very winnable. Honestly. Okay, I, after I tonight, if you want to ask me where I think things will go, yeah, I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna really get into it because I feel pretty pessimistic right this minute. Okay, however, course, I will say I will say this: if this team after the start we had, we get ranked once again. We get boat raced after getting ranked, which has been our theme for the last four or five years. Look it up if you don't believe me. Mm -hmm. um, if this team cannot stand up and show some kind of respect against Missouri, Tennessee, and Alabama, I'm going to be livid. Absolutely yeah. livid. I can tell you that. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of this team not overcoming and, and gaining respect. I'm done with it. I really am. Yeah. I'm sick to death of it. And yeah. you go through the rest of this season and you can't gain any real respect. Where are we? What are mm -hmm. we? We are, we are, you know, Kentucky 1.1. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, right. we are better because we can win against the teams that aren't any count. Yeah. I mean, you know, we can win six or eight games a year and, and win against the teams that aren't any count. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, Florida, must, Florida must really suck. Florida does uh, here lately. Florida does suck. Yeah, we're Florida clearly are, better really than suck. that. Yeah, uh, but I don't um, know how much of a feat that is. Ole Miss is only beating Arkansas by by uh, four right now. So, I mean, think about it. The last few games that Kentucky's had on on the stage: Tennessee, Georgia. You know, last year, um, hell after the Tennessee or right before the Tennessee, I can't remember. We get beat by Vandy. You know, I mean, it's just, it's time that the Kentucky Wildcats and Stoops and White and now Cohen, it's time that you stand up and make people respect you. You're talking about the announcers tonight. The announcers are going to talk about the number one team in the country that's won back to back titles and 35 yeah. out of 36 games. If you want the announcers to talk about Kentucky, mm -hmm. then you have to play like the announcers have to talk about Kentucky. It just feels like we, it feels like we were playing conservative or something. It, feel, it feels like Stoops like was playing not to lose. It, feel, it feels like in these big games, we just don't rise to the occasion and we're not ready for the moment. It's I like guarantee we're, you, we're, if we lined up and hit them in the mouth a few times and we took a and we took a 21 to 14 point lead. Yeah. You know, in the second or third quarter, I bet you anything that that Greg McElroy and, and the announcers tonight would be talking more about Kentucky. They Kentucky. did do a, a yeah. they did do a piece on Ray Davis that I thought was excellent and yeah, i love his story yeah me too yeah yeah i i, I love uh i love that I, I just wish it wasn't during us getting blown out uh but that, that too. Can, but they know, did but they did do a really nice piece on ray davis and his background and his story if you don't know the story there is um 
several right now um, articles that has been written about Ray Davis and his childhood yeah. background. And um, he was homeless. He was in shelters by the time he was eight years old on the mm -hmm. streets of San Francisco. His parents that were guy, incarcerated. Yep. Yeah. That, and that guy's got heart. And he, he he's my favorite player on the team by far. If you hey, don't like know the story, you need to check it out. And yeah. in tonight's game, in the third quarter, I think the sideline reporter done a story on it, and the announcers were asking questions and kind of talking back and forth with the sideline reporter. I didn't catch her name. I'm sorry. I don't know the girl's I think name. It's, I think uh, it's Molly McGrath. But, I think that's her name, uh, Molly McGrath. It might be Molly. Mm -hmm. uh, but the sideline um, reporter did a really, really nice job. Um, and, and the announcers were, you know, asking questions and, and stuff and, and kind of going into the story a little bit. And it was a good job. I, that was the only thing out of the entire game that was as a Kentucky fan that was worth listening to or, or worth watching. <laughs> yeah, that, it, you, that's, <laughs> it's the truth. true. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's the truth. But it, to kind of round things out here, uh, you, you know, round up the show here. Let's let's take a look at the rest of the year. So you can't let one loss turn into two or or three. You can't or you know whatever. Um, you know we, so get, we get Missouri we still, and then we get a buy. Well, yes, that's then, where we are we right now. Buy, then, then, then we get then we get Tennessee. We get so, Missouri um, at home and then we get a buy. So that means he was get, talking about yeah. those injuries tonight. We're yeah. talking about those injuries tonight. So if we can get through Missouri, then the it, you know, the injuries would, you know, they'd have some, uh, an extra week to heal. So, yeah, like, Barry on Brown is a hamstring. So, you know, even if he misses next week, he would have another two weeks. You know what I mean? Like, it would be he, – he'll have a couple of weeks here to heal up before, you know, before he would come back and play Tennessee. So, hopefully, yeah. we'll get a few of these guys back. Where is Kenneth Horsey? Well, I I, th I was surprised he didn't play tonight. To be honest with you, uh, so so Kenneth Horsey was he told he was going to be out two weeks. That was the first game of the season. Okay, last yeah. week against Florida, there was talk that he practiced all week. That he was looking, you know, reports were that he was looking pretty good, uh, but was going to be a game time decision. He didn't play, didn't dress, and then. Tonight, where's Kenneth Horsey against the number one team in the country? And we got a guy, I'm sorry, like Jagger Burton doing the stuff that he's doing when we could put Kenneth Horsey in there and get Jagger out, move Dylan Ray over if we have to, or Tanner Bowles, or somebody that can man that spot that's not going to do idiotic things. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know where Kenneth Horsey is, and it, it's really starting to, you know, are, are they just not, are you know, are they trying to mislead teams so teams think that he's going to play or, you know, what's going on? Yeah, I'm surprised he, he hasn't been. We thought we were going to see him last week, and I certainly thought he'd play today. So I I, I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, but I you know, I at the end of the day, we all thought we were losing to Georgia deep down, <laughs> right? Well, I mean, it, I totally had us at, 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 you know, at five and one, and then I had us winning next week at six and one. And then before the season started, if you want to know the truth, that's when I thought the real season was going to start. Yep. If we could get to six and one yep. in the bye week. Which we still can. Then I thought that's when – I thought that's – where the real season would begin. Because once that happens, then we play Tennessee at home, and every Kentucky fan knows what our record's been against Tennessee for the last 35 years. Okay? Yep. Um, we get Tennessee at home. Then we go to Starkville, and every Kentucky fan knows how tough a place it's been for us to get wins in Starkville. Yeah. Um, you know, and then we get Alabama at home. Yeah. 
And then we finished with South Carolina and Louisville on the road. Yeah. On the road. On the road. South, Car- South-, South Carolina's yeah. never been a, an easy place to play. And, and they, Louisville. They, they played Georgia better than we did. Clearly, clearly better. So yeah. any Kentucky fan that wants to sit here and act like we're just going to demolish Louisville again is not seeing what this season is, is showing. Because yeah. Brom is a good coach, y'all. I don't listen. Yes. He's he's a Louisville guy, and his whole family is. And I don't like that about him. But I am a, um, a you know, I, I'm capable of telling right from wrong and good from bad and everything else. And Brom's a good coach, and mm-hmm. he's going to get Louisville turned around. Yeah, you can already see it. Already is. <clears throat> already is, yeah. especially with this win tonight. So but, uh... you know. When if we you know, take those, if we're six and one, and you take those five games, what do we do with those five games? Do right. we, you know what I mean? Do we do we lose That's four of those five? Do we lose four of those five games? You could. Yeah, you could. Because if that's the case, then this season was for naught. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. if we're six and one. Yep. Right, there's still a lot of season left, and this back half of the season is much harder. But uh, and I'm gonna, honest some, with, I'm gonna be honest with I'm gonna be honest with everybody. I I picked Kentucky. I I picked Kentucky to be way over that last year, and I promised everybody and promised myself that I wasn't gonna go overboard with this yeah. with this season. So I only picked Kentucky to be eight and four. So I'm I'm yeah. right now. I still we're still right on track. I'm still, you know, I'm still on track, even though yeah. Kentucky lost. It, it's not the loss that bothers me, right? It's how we lost and Absolutely. what we looked I, like in the loss. Yep, yep, and and uh, I, I completely agree with that. Um, you know, um, but at the end of the day. Like I said, we all thought we were losing to Georgia, and we're right where we we thought we'd be, sort of. So you're going into Missouri five and one. Um, there's still a lot and, of season and left. Missouri's and, five and one, and, and Missouri's well. five and one too. Yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, the, there's still a lot of season left, and 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 you still have a lot of opportunity uh, to go out and have a great season. But the but there's no if if sands or buts about it tonight was disappointing on and in all systems failure on all fronts but uh but you know there's still opportunity so you know there's there's still a chance for us to go um uh have a good season so the question is can this team regroup and, and can this team not let this one loss turn into two or three or four well we'll so find that, out a, next week it won't be we don't have to yeah. wait till you know after the bye week if we can come back at home and take care of business next week, then, you know, we still have a shot at a really, really good season. John says Leary obviously has problems with the elbow still. Yeah, Brad, do you think it's like the injury, that that the lingering injury, that's the problem? With Something's him? not right because if you yeah. look at the way he played at when he was at NC State, he was a 67 68% um, completion you know, thrower. And right now he's, he's, I don't even know if he's 55 at Kentucky, the way he's Mm-mm. played. Mm-mm. He was 58 for today and he was nine of 20 at halftime. And I, I got so mad and I kind of quit. I hadn't even looked, but he was yep. nine of 20 at halftime. That's 45%. That's that is not good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's some more math there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll do a last call for calls here. No double dipping tonight. So Claude, Josh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll leave the double dipping for a time when we actually win a game. Uh, but uh, if anybody else wants to call in, if you, if you haven't called yet, five zero two two three four. Yeah, we would love to hear from you. We'd love to, you know that. And sometimes, Brad, the, these these games that we lose, sometimes they're the best shows because everybody wants. Nobody really cares. You know, when we win, everybody just wants to celebrate. Nobody, nobody yeah. really has anything to say. Everybody's got a lot to say when we lose. <laughs> you know, every, everybody's ready to talk <laughs> about it when we lose is, is, is the thing. Right. So, um, so you know, we, we might hear from uh, from somebody else here. So, we'll kind of throw that up there. So, the last call for calls here. Um, give us a shout. 
love to hear from you. Um, you know, Caden's probably asleep right now, you know, resting peacefully, knowing that his prediction uh, held, held up well. <laughs> Um, so I'm sure that's Listen, happening, but y'all want yeah. y'all giving Caden way too much credit. Okay. All right. I just want, I'm going to put this out there. I know Caden's okay. going to watch this. I know Caden's going to watch this. Y'all giving Caden way too much credit for a guy who says that he doesn't know enough about football to be on a football show. <laughs> y'all are giving Caden way too much credit. Listen, I love Caden. All right. I ain't saying nothing bad about him. But yeah. for a guy who says I know way more about basketball than I do football, y'all giving him way too much credit. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, Kayden, John, also, I love you, man. But yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. And hey, Big Blue Madness is next Friday, so you know, get, get 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 speaking of basketball, you know. But John also says Georgia's backup played better than Leary. I, I mean, yeah, looked like it. Honestly, yeah, I can't argue with that. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think so. How about this question? And nobody, none, none of us has said this tonight, but how about this question? Did uh, we not put in one of our backup quarterbacks in the fourth quarter? Yeah, when the game was out of reach, yeah, I, 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 I don't Why? know. Why? Why? When, when, when they Sharon, put their – Came when in. they put their backup in, yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna be fully honest. We we were going to do the show, so about six minutes to go, I got up. So yeah, maybe we did put Kyra Sharon in. Oh, we we put Kyra in. Yeah, we put Kyra Sharon in. Yeah, but we probably should have put him in sooner. So he did. He did get. In. He, he did okay. get in. Yeah, but. I, they they put their backup in basically the start of the fourth quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as bad as we played and as bad as Leary looked, if we wanted to get our backup some actual time, why didn't you put him in and let him throw some passes and let him try to get in some kind of flow in a game that was clearly out of reach? Yeah, because we, we 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 might need him, you know, down the stretch. Leary might not be healthy, or or we might just need to go to somebody, you know, who knows. Um, but uh, you know, one more time for, for calls five zero two two three four one five zero four. Give us a shout if you if you never check this out and you're in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to like us on Facebook, Talk in Kentucky. Uh, we do our show live every Thursday night at eight o'clock Eastern time. And then Brad here is joining me from another podcast to do uh, just the football post game shows. Uh, he does a podcast called college sports cast. So go like them um, as well. So, uh, so check yeah. us out. We do game day pick them. So we do a show called big Fuss show where we talk about hot topics and debates. Um, and then we do a weekend wrap up show. That's tomorrow, three o'clock on Sunday. Um, you can check us out three o'clock central time, I should say. Um, and, uh, we'll do the weekend wrap up show. I may be doing it by myself tomorrow. I'm not real sure, but, uh, if I am, uh, I'll get on there and, and talk to you guys about all the action this weekend. So beware. I'm, I might be on a rampage. I'm not sure. Right, and then be sure to subscribe to talking Kentucky on YouTube as well at talking underscore Kentucky. And then we upload all our podcasts uh, to Spotify as well. Um, so be sure to get to get on Spotify and subscribe to us on there so you don't miss things. And then uh, also rate us five stars on Spotify as well. So be sure to, to check that out there. Uh, and College we'll Sportscast is on all that too. We're on YouTube. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple. We're on just about anything and anywhere, to be honest with you. So, um, and, you know, check us out. Like, share, rate, all that good yeah. stuff. Well, and, and John here, and and uh, he says he I love my cats from Eastern Kentucky. Originally, I live outside of Knoxville now. Big Orange Hill. Oh man, wow. well, well, <laughs> that that's I don't know. Y'all want to talk about? Uh, Josh was talking about how upset he was and wanted to beat Georgia. Y'all just yeah. wait to if we get boat raced again by Tennessee. Y'all just wait to what I'm like then. <laughs> right, right. Um, 
but uh hey john thank you for for uh joining us down here in the comments tonight it's nice always nice to see new names in here uh um, it is give us a call sometime man don't be yeah, afraid give us, give we're, us a call. Know, yeah give, we're just normal uh, yeah talk about talk about some comments and you know some stuff that, yeah that you've seen in the game we would love to have you give us a call man yeah that, that'd be awesome um and uh yeah so we, we, we're live every thursday night and then also we do a, we do a post game show for every game so you can catch us live on facebook either one of those times or if, if you can't watch live you know catch us on on spotify or youtube uh, after the fact so um yeah uh maybe i, he maybe I can said, even oh, talk coleman into doing some basketball games i'm not real sure well, that's Maybe. right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, he, he says, uh, home of Randall Cobb there, but, uh, yeah, I think we should do some basketball games, Brad. I made my first, uh, yeah. I made my first tick. Well, it's not a tick tock. I don't have tick tock. I haven't caved to that, but it's a, it's a real, like I made my mm-hmm. first little, you know, real yesterday of, uh, I think you probably saw it. It was Georgia, like three keys to a win or whatever. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I felt like I was 75 years old making that thing. I mean, it took me about three and a half hours to learn how to make that real. I was like, how do you do this? You know, I was, I was like, you know, trying to, I felt old for sure. But uh, I finally figured it out and it's got some views. And unfortunately, the cats did not follow uh, the the keys to the win. Uh, so the coaches must, must not. Well, I wrote an article about three keys to the win too. And they didn't follow those rules either. <laughs> Somebody did just comment on it on YouTube and said, yeah, Kentucky didn't do any of those. <laughs> I yeah. was like, yeah. So that's why we lost. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Hey, Claude says, hey, you and Caden and Brad, uh, all three do basketball show on Talking Kentucky. Hey, yeah, we can do. You know, I don't know if we'll do like a post game show for like uh, Georgetown College game but you know for the bigger games you know like kansas yeah. and stuff like that you know we we can absolutely get on board with that you know i think that'd be good so yeah. uh i mean but, you yeah. don't want to yeah you don't want to do one for i don't know black net university or something like that whoever it is <laughs> yeah yeah uh right yeah uh, all those terrible, you know, St. Peter's and all that. Uh, maybe a rough weekend, John says. Cats lose, Braves lose, and my Cowboys will probably lose tomorrow night. Yeah, well, if they, since they're the Cowboys, by, I mean, by default, Brad, they're probably going to lose, you know. <laughs> I mean, I know I know John Hammonds. I know big John Hammonds is a Cowboys yeah, fan, too, so I don't want to, yeah. <laughs> Boy, if the, if the Cowboys lose on top of what just happened with the Cats, Y'all, y'all don't even pay attention to what John Hammond says for the next three yeah, days. You're, yeah. I'm just telling. He, he, yes. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I love John. Because though. he's going to he's gonna be all over social media and talking. Yeah. Well, he, he is. He is. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, um, which uh, speaking of the NFL, I love, oh, I love John, but boy, he, he, he takes losses really, really hard. <laughs> well, you know, tonight, I mean, you, t- my, my thing is you got to laugh about it. I mean, I posted, I posted on my page and the, and the talking Kentucky page tonight. And I said, well, I said, well, we could try putting in Dante Allen, you know, <laughs> and I thought that lifted everybody's spirits a little bit. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm pissed off about it. I think y'all can tell I'm pissed off about it. It's yeah. just not personal. Like I don't take it personal. Yeah. Like, you it's know what I mean? Fine. It's not. It's not personal to me, but right. as a, cause like I've been a coach some in my life and, and I mean, never at the college level or nothing like that, but I've played, I've coached. I, I know the game football, basketball, you know, really well. Yeah. And yeah. I can look at it and I can, you know, just like I was talking about playing off the receivers and just not, you know, I mean, there's, there's no excuse in that. There's no, no excuse in in letting you know Georgia's massive offensive line get away with us only rushing three or four people and they have five when they already have an advantage. Yeah, there's just no excuse in that. You know, well, so that's what you know. I mean, when I look at things, I look at things a little different sometimes than what other people do. Well, let, let's try uh, 
you know, let's try to regroup and let, let's try to see if we can come back next week. And we could just, you know, be positive and just, you know, we're right where we thought we'd be still. So don't let, let's not let us, this get us down too bad. Let's regroup and let's get back. That's why I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not like, oh, you know, the season's over. Let's go to basketball, like some Kentucky fans are going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Basketball season's over here. Yeah. You will never, ever, ever, ever hear Brad say that about Kentucky football. Ever. No. I promise no. you that. Yep. Absolutely. No, I, I'm a fan. Th- Listen, I watched this get blown out by Vanderbilt 48 to nothing in Jokers last yeah. year. So that's the yeah. kind of fan I am. So, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So we, we should, and we have to all remember we did lose. We did get shut out by Vanderbilt 48 to nothing. So we've come a long way. So let, let's not complain, <laughs> you know, too much either. Yeah. It, but, uh, um, Claude says, "Hey Brad, uh, do you think my Bengals will win tomorrow against uh, against the Cardinals?" You know, Clyde, I've really been surprised the way the Bengals have started. I was surprised last year uh, when they started zero and two. They did turn it around last year, and you know, had a great season. I think they won know, something like ten or eleven in a row or something, and and wound up with only like three or four losses. And they've struggled again this year. Um, Joe Burrow got hurt in the preseason. And I think it's kind of lingered. He didn't get much, you know, practice, many reps. He didn't play in any preseason games. I think it's kind of lingered into the season. But we're sitting at week five this week in the NFL. Yeah. And yeah, Crazy. it's time to get going. So – um, the Cardinals have played pretty good. They need to. They need to. You know, get to get that win tomorrow. Um, I think, Clyde. Yeah, yeah. No, I think so too. Um, John says, "I wish it was more competitive tonight. We can beat Missouri at home and get the two weeks to prepare for Tennessee." You know, another thing though, Brad is is Mark Stoops' teams have been historically terrible coming off the bye. Coming off of a bye. Yep, <laughs> you're exactly <laughs> and, right. I we've knew what you were going to say. Yeah, we've also been historically <laughs> terrible against Tennessee, so that's not a good combo. So I'm I'm not feeling great about that, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, but that being yep. said, you know, you, you it's still right out in front of you. No, you so you can the still Cowboys go and, have and a 49ers. Good seat. By the way, just so you know, John, I don't like either one of them. I don't. I can both of them lose. <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, I mean that's that that's how we feel. Um Danny Morris says sad day, go cats. Yes, go cats, but man. Danny, Josh, we appreciate you being on with us. Um, all these guys yes. that are kind of new guys, it looks like being on with us and commenting. We yep. appreciate you guys being on. I did share this in a couple of Facebook groups, Kentucky Facebook groups and stuff. Um, a few actually. So yeah. I'm hoping to kind of get you know people on with us and get more people knowing that we're doing these post game shows every um, after every game football game. Yep. Um, and we're going to talk about it. We cool. might we might do some basketball games throughout the year. Yeah, we'll um, do some we, basketball and yeah, yeah. absolutely. So uh, uh, Caden will be on with us probably if we're doing basketball. I'll have to. Uh, I'll, he will. I'll have to hear. Uh, so he his. Uh, Maybe we can stick to just basketball, and we don't have to hear about his football comments. <laughs> well, if you're if you're watching, if you're watching like John for the for the first time here, and you and you haven't seen a regular show with uh, with Caden, you know Caden's a basketball Benny, as as John Calipari would say. So um, so uh, that's that's why he's not on here with us. He, he's more of a basketball guy. But uh, you think but, Caden uh, watches these? Does he watch these? I, I think he watches some of them. Yeah, I think he watches okay. some of them. Um, he he stopped watching the game tonight. Um, I think yeah. when Georgia went up uh, fourteen to nothing, I think he, he quit watching. So, uh, Josh Hart says, "Good night, guys. Go Cats!" But man, um, and uh, you know, so Josh is going to bed here, and I, I think it's time for us to go to bed too, and and put this this sad day to, uh, to bed, regroup, and come back next week, come back stronger, and uh, How are y'all. And, if I were y'all, I'm just saying real quick, if, before you get in the bed, I would check for stuff because that's what we did tonight yeah. is we shit the bed. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a good that I like that, Brad. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check my bed before I go to bed. Uh, I John, would check it if I were y'all. Yeah. Uh John says, I'm glad I found you guys. I'll be a regular. Uh thanks, appreciate John. it, John. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thursdays at eight o'clock Eastern time, right here on our Talking Kentucky Facebook page. And, and I'm then, College uh, Sportscast. Uh, Tuesday, yes. Thursday, and Sundays. There we go. There we go. So yeah, uh, ab- absolutely. And uh, Claude Harris says, "Yeah, church is tomorrow. Time to sleep." Yes, I'm going to. Yeah, I've got church in the morning as well. And uh, it it and I I better. Um, I'm gonna pray for um, <laughs> for Kentucky to uh, have a better game next week. <laughs> so, um, and and we we need it. So, uh, well, thank you very much, guys. And uh, Brad, you got anything to add before we head out? No, man, it's been fun as always, Coleman. I like being on with you guys and doing this. And uh, I'm glad Likewise. to see a, a few. I'm glad to see we got a few more people on with us tonight. You guys tell people about us and share and, you know, tell your friends, tell your family. I know if you're a cat fan, you know other cat fans. So, um, you know, tell people about us and uh, yeah, tell them to join us for our post game shows. And John uh, says, where are you guys based out of? I'm actually uh, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I, I'm a graduate student at Baton Rouge, but I did my, my undergrad at UK. Um, so uh, I'm from Frankfort, Kentucky originally, but uh, living down here in Baton Rouge now, but still love the cats. And uh, Caden. I'm about, uh, I'm about 20 miles from Boulder in Kentucky is where I am. Okay, yeah. So, uh yeah, Brad is in the Bowling Green area, and then Caden is in the Madisonville, Kentucky area. So it's a, a it's a kind of Western Kentucky plus plus Baton Rouge. So that's that's where we are. Um, and uh, John's in, in Whitesburg. It's nice. And then, okay. and, and then and then Claude says he's in Lexington, which we knew. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Claude. Yeah. We know where you are. Yes. Yes, we, we don't mean that in a creepy way. Yeah, uh, we, we, we know where you I are. do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm just having fun. Yeah, that, that's that's right. But uh, hey, um, so ch- so thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, tough day, but we're going to regroup, Brad. We're, we're going to come back and we're going to beat Missouri next week and we're going to get back on track. So I think I think it's I think it's going to be good. So yeah. Um, well, uh, for Coleman Scott, for Brad Harvey, and uh, for the Cats, go Cats, but man, this has been the Talking Kentucky Post Game Show, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Go Cats. Go Cats. <laughs>